Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. This week I'm tackling the big question, something that almost everyone has thought about before once in their lives. Should you do what you love for a living? I hope you enjoy. I've always thought the answer to this question would be a resounding yes, but then I actually thought about it and now I'm not so sure. We've all heard the saying, if we do what we love for a living, we'll never work a day in our lives. But what about all the stress that comes with a job? The emotional and financial hardships? Surely this will be present in whatever field we enter. With such easy access to the internet, build your own websites, and a world where anyone can be a guru, it's so easy to start your own business, which is why so many people are. They're turning hobbies and passion projects into small businesses. I think this is amazing, and in a way, I'm doing the same thing. But the problem is, so many startups and businesses fail, often leaving their creators disheartened and in debt. And when the business is struggling or it does fail, the creator's hobby or passion is now their main source of stress and smallest form of income. But there is a reason so many of these small businesses fail, and some of it is definitely up to luck. But most just don't understand how much effort or aren't willing to put in the time, planning, effort or persistence required. They might just rush into things and quit their stable job, leaving their small business to pick up the financial slack. They might jump into it without planning or thinking things through and realise that it just isn't viable, they don't enjoy it or it's too difficult. But doing what you love for a living isn't the only way to be happy and lead a fulfilling life. There's something to be said about that person that comes home from their nine to five so stoked to be spending a few hours working on a passion project that they love. To me, that's still a fulfilling life. When a passion project or hobby is turned into a business, it's no longer a reprieve from the pressures and expectations of work and life. Putting it out into the world, up against other competitors, under scrutiny, or by commercializing it, you may find it loses some of its special value within you and certainly some of its reprieve, because stress will inevitably come with it. People often start their own business to get out of the nine to five grind, only to find themselves in a different kind of grind. If it's a creative outlet that is pure and special to you, maybe keep it to yourself. It will always remain that safe, special place that you can return to whenever you want. If you wanna spend more time on it, schedule it into your life so that you have something to look forward to and it's now a priority. But if you really want to be doing what you love for a living, whether that's starting your own business, changing careers, whatever it is, you have to be willing to put your everything into it. You have to enter it knowing and accepting all of the potential pitfalls. And you may not need to put your everything into it from the beginning. In my opinion, the best way to do something is to start it on the side. By taking a new job on the side or starting up your business while still keeping your stable job, even just part-time, will ensure your passion will remain separate from finances, which is where the majority of the stress will come from. This way, you will also look forward to the days or hours when you get to work on it, and it will still be that positive, special place. So my advice would be to start it on the side. See if things progress. If they do, keep it on the side until it's self-sufficient enough that you can rely on it as your main source of income, or you can hire other people to help you. I always want to encourage you to do what you love and lead an intentional and fulfilling life. If you're changing careers or starting your own, I hope it all works out and that you're really happy. If you're going to keep your hobbies separate from your work, I encourage you to do your best to enjoy the work that provides your income. I just want happiness for you in whatever you choose. So that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and I upload new videos every Thursday. I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.